What if the first truly useful quantum computer isn't built by Google or IBM, but by a relatively unknown startup using light instead of wires? That's exactly what Psi Quantum is betting on, and they're claiming they'll do it by 2029. Here's why that matters. Most quantum computers today use superconducting circuits or trapped ions, but Psi Quantum is going a completely different route. They're using photons, particles of light, to represent qubits. That means their machines won't rely on ultra-cold temperatures in the same way other designs do. While the photon detectors still need cooling to around 4 degrees above absolute zero, that's hundreds of times warmer than what superconducting qubits require, making the whole system much simpler to build and operate. They're building on existing semiconductor and photonics technology, the same infrastructure used in silicone chip manufacturing. In simple terms, they're trying to make quantum computers with light and standard fabrication processes. That's a big deal because it makes scaling up way more realistic. But here's the twist. PsiQuantum isn't just theorizing. They've partnered with Global Foundries, a major chip manufacturer, to actually start building the hardware. That kind of access to commercial fabrication could let them mass produce quantum chips faster than anyone expected. And get this, NVIDIA is reportedly in advanced talks to invest in PsiQuantum, a move that could supercharge their momentum and tie the project to one of the biggest names in computing. Unlike companies building incremental improvements with hundreds or thousands of qubits, PsiQuantum is targeting millions. They believe that's the minimum needed to run meaningful algorithms, things like simulating molecules for drug discovery or solving optimization problems that today supercomputers can't even touch. Of course, it's still an uphill battle. Photonic quantum computing is notoriously tricky. Aligning photons perfectly, maintaining coherence, and scaling error correction are major challenges. And here's what makes all of this really exciting. If they're right, we could have a scalable, usable quantum computer sooner than most experts predicted. So the question now is, can a light-based machine really beat the giants of quantum to the finish line? If so, we're not just looking at a technology milestone, we're looking at the birth of a whole new industry.